Hello, my beautiful friends around the world. How are you? So last week I uploaded another DIY rings tutorial called how to make a ring with a stone. And from all your comments, it seems like you enjoyed watching it. <laughs> Therefore, I decided to play with that design a little bit and came up with even more DIY rings. Let me know if you like them and do subscribe if you are not yet and hit that notification bell for more videos like this. Now, let's get started! <laughs> Alrighty, for these DIY rings I'm using two pieces of 22 gauge craft wire. By the way, all the materials and tools are listed below as usual. And I'm going for these little pearls because why not? Hey, <laughs> pearls are pretty. I'm adding seven pearls to each wire and now a little trick. Oh, how I love tips and tricks. Bend the wire on each side of the pearls one way and then again the opposite way with Chino's pliers and repeat this process for both pieces of the wire. It will be so much easier to then twist it and it will look a lot neater too. Trust me, I've tried it both ways since I like things done fast. I'm not a very patient person. <laughs> and then of course it took me twice as long to redo it the correct way. So keep twisting the wire on both sides of the pearls until you've made the twisted bit about half an inch or maybe a little bit longer, but about half an inch. <laughs> Then cut the remaining wire, only leaving very small pieces, as these little guys <laughs> will then be curled into mini loops with round nose pliers. You can also flatten them with chain nose or flat nose pliers like I did. As always, we need an object with a similar diameter to our finger and of course it's a Rimmel <laughs> nail varnish bottle for me. We need to shape the ring and most importantly, try if it fits. Yes, it does! <laughs> what a coincidence! Ha! I've just realized I forgot to tell you why I've decided to twist the wire on each side of the beads instead of just making the ring entirely out of beads. So first of all, it's so much more comfortable since there are no beads sticking out and pressing on your other fingers. And second of all, it's made the ring a lot stronger and keeps it the right shape. So there, I've just shared this top secret information with you. Let's only keep it between us and the internet. And yes, I've made a few more of these, like this called DIY ring, with frosted beads. By the way, it's actually really sparkly and beautiful. Not sure why it looks so dull on camera. Anyways, it's really beautiful. <laughs> I also had this leftover Swarovski crystal from my previous DIY ring tutorial. I did a few gold seed beads and made a beautiful gold and aquamarine ring. Simply slide the two wires through the four holes of the crystal, add your seed beads, bend the wire. And with these tiny beads I only bend the wire once and then start twisting. Again and again. <laughs> Keep flipping the ring and doing a few twists on one side then the other side and again. You can see how messy it looks at first, but don't worry, after you finish twisting and reshape the wire with your hands or pliers, it will look great. Of course, you'll want to give it round shape and believe it or not, I'm switching to a marker pen and I can already hear my nail varnish bottle crying. All by myself Don't wanna be All by myself na, na, na. <laughs> And here we have an absolutely gorgeous DIY ring. It's a stunner. I'm in love, I think. Could be just hormones. And since I like to add different variations of color to my thumbnails, I simply had to make this copper ring. 
and this is most definitely not an excuse to make as many DIY rings as possible. I am most definitely not obsessed with making DIY rings, or am I? I hope you enjoyed this video and this idea and as I said I would love to hear your opinions because I just love 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 reading your comments um, you are simply the best that's true and I hope you are having a wonderful day wherever you are love you bye bye <laughs>